Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And today's video is going to be my review on some products um, that I that I wish I could say I'm going to recommend, but sadly I'm, I'm going to say if you ever want to wash this um, kind of stuff, it's, it's sadly just not washable. It, it will come out. But if you do not plan to wash your work of art, then let me give you a couple of recommendations for mica pigment powder. And here, I'm going to push the uh, lids down so that you can see these. Ooh, this one doesn't have a name. Let's get the actual bottle out of here. Um, if you can see that, I believe that says Cruzix, and these are Chameleon Powder Paints. I got these off of Amazon based on a recommendation from a friend of mine who uses them very successfully. But the other ones that I tested were the Arteza Mica powders. Um, both of these, I liked working with them. They mix well. Um, I'm going to come over here and show you kind of the after effects. And that's what most of these look like. Now, all of these are dried. Um, I'm actually just going to show you how you can peel them up. And of course, as always, I mix them with my fabric medium, and that's what it is. And and you know what, guys, all this is is really mica powder with uh, pigment dyes in it. Um, so you can use this. And I'm going to zoom in here on my chameleon. Ooh, and look at all that sparkle. Um, so the sparkle in these are really nice. Now, um, caveat: I on these right here, these are gel pins, the Sparkle Pop gel pins, because I wanted something darker. And that's going to be my other critique about some of these powders. Um, you know, I tend to like very vivid, strong color, and I feel like most of these are fairly muted. Now, my girlfriend who recommended these to me, she actually uses it on black. And I'm going to try to start a series on coloring on black fabric here in the near future, but I wanted to try it out on white first. Um, so, you know, yes, if you're not going to wash these. Let me just kind of zoom in to see what they look like. I mean, look at all the shine in them. They're they're really pretty. Um, so I, I recommend them for that. Um, and last but not least, another product that I have used on here, and I'm going to bring this in here real close. It's called Unicorn Spit, and I think a lot of people have heard of this. It actually can be used on a variety of different types of surfaces. Um, that is the red, the two colors of red that you see here. I'd already colored with pencil with the the darker red and then this is the unicorn spit uh, without it and let me zoom in here really tight you can see that it's really super blingy um, so there you go that's my recommendation um, for pigment powders if you're looking for some and if you're looking for uber super sparkle but please beware you cannot wash these um, the colors do fade out and the, the bling does not stay there so Good luck, and with that noise in the background, that's my toast that's just been finished, so I will cut this video short. As always, if you need to reach me, it's medinadomarts at aol.com or www.medinadomarts.com for my website. Thanks for watching.